Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. Today's theme is librarian's favorite. So Miss Leslie and my favorites, ooh, it's gonna be special. All right, should we get started with a little bread and butter? Are you ready? Okay, you know the movement, right? It's laugh and clap. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quickly as we can. One, two, three, hello. That was so fast. All right, what's the opposite of fast? We know it's slow, right? Should we say hello very slowly? All right, ready for bread and butter? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. One, two, three. Hello. Well, I'm feeling a little silly this morning. Should we say hello in a silly way? Are you guys ready for that? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as silly as we can. One, two, three, hello. Oh my goodness, that is so silly. All right, let's do one last bread and butter. And this time when we say hello, we're just gonna wave to our friends in a friendly way. Are you ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as friendly as we can. One, two, three, hello. So good to see all of you. Miss Leslie's going to get us started with a meow. Thanks, Miss Susie. So this is a new favorite. This book came out in 2019, and as soon as I read it, I thought, ooh, I cannot wait to share it. It's called Everybody Says Meow by Constance Lombardi, and it is published by Harper. And I'm going to need all of your help. Can you all say meow? Meow. Miss Susie, can you say meow? I know you prefer to say woof, but you'll say meow, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So everybody says meow. Welcome to that magical time when everybody says meow. Ready? Are you all ready? Okay, let's do it. Meow! Woof! What? No, 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 no. Do not say woof. Everybody says meow. Got it? Woof? And you say, meow, woof. Please say meow, woof, woof. All right, new plan. Everybody says, meow, and one guy says, woof. Are we ready? Is everybody ready? One, two, three, meow, woof, ribbit. Oh boy. Did somebody say ribbit? I'm going to close my eyes and count to three. And when I open my eyes, no more ribbit. One, two, ribbit. <gasps> Bummer. Okay, another new plan. Everybody says meow. One says woof, and one says ribbit. Ready? Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Meow! Woof, ribbit, quack. Oh, boy. Did you just say quack? Any chance you could say meow, quack? Is that your final answer? Quack. Okay. Welcome to that magical time where everybody says whatever they want. Meow, <laughs> meow, 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 woof, ribbit, quack. Not bad. <gasps> Roar. Look, everybody ran away. Was it something I said? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All right, 
So that was super fun. And now I think Miss Susie's got some more animal sounds for us. I do have more animal sounds. I have some animal sounds from down on the farm. So let's see what's going on down on the farm. An oink, a moo, a cockle doodle doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peek-a-boo? Let's see who's first. Peek-a-boo! Who is that? Is that our friend the goat? What sound does the goat make? That's right. Let's see who else is down on the farm. An oink, a moo, a cockle doodle doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peek a boo? Peek a boo. Who's that? That's right, it's our friend Piggy. And what does the piggy say? Oink, 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 oink. An oink, a moo, a cockle doodle doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peek a boo? Who is this? Quack, quack, quack. It's our friend Duck, right? We see lots of ducks in Port Washington on the pond. And the, right in the sound, quack, quack. Let's see who else we have. An oink, a moo, a cockle doodle doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peek a boo? Ooh, this guy's a big guy. Let's see. Oh, I really have to lift him up. Nay! Nay! It's our friend Horse. He likes, oh, I think he, he's galloping away. I see. <laughs> An oink, a moo, a cockle doodle doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peek a boo? Who's this? That's right, it's our friend Rooster. What sound did the rooster make? Cockle doodle doo. He's waking everybody up on the farm, right? All right. An oink, a moo, a cockle doodle doo. Who's in the barn or playing peek a boo? Peek a boo. That's our friend Sheep. Ah! Ah! Okay, let's see. I think we have one more friend on the farm. An oink, a moo, a cockle doodle doo. Who's in the barnyard playing peek a boo? Peek a boo. Who's that? That's our friend Cow. And what sound does the cow make? Moo. Ooh. Aww, that was fun. All right, Miss Leslie, do you have bingo? One of my all time favorites, you know it. All right, so let's see. On Tuesday, we did our ABCs and our one, two, threes, remember? So what letter is that? B, I, N, G, oh, whoops, let's move it over a little bit. And just like Miss Susie said, that spells oh, bingo. Oh my goodness, bingo has really missed you guys. And bingo has been saying to me, when am I gonna get to sing my song? Been waiting very patiently. See, bingo learned how to spell his name, B-I-N-G-O. I taught him a nice song. You guys wanna hear it? There was a librarian who had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh, Bingo loves that song. He's so proud of himself that he can spell his name, but oh, hold on. See, um, I forgot to give Bingo his breakfast this morning and he's really hungry. And you know, Bingo is a library dog. And so Bingo doesn't like to eat dog treats. He likes to eat letters. You think we should let him eat the first letter of his name? He's really a good boy and he is so hungry. What do you think? Should we let him? Okay, so we're gonna let him eat the letter B. <laughs> Okay, so do you think that we can sing his song? 
without the letter B. Let's try, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Just to remind us, I'm gonna turn it over. And instead of saying the letter B, we're gonna clap, okay? There was a librarian who had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name, oh. We did it, we didn't even need to see that letter B, but oh, bingo's still hungry. Should we let him have the next letter? What letter is that? That's right, it's the letter I. Okay, bingo, have at it. Woo, uh-oh. Boy, he really went to town on that one, okay. Let's see, he's eaten two letters. We have one, two, three left. Should we try singing our song? There was a librarian who had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name, oh. You know what he wants, right? Let's let him have the letter N. Yum, 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 yum. <gasps> Only two letters left. There was a librarian who had a dog, and bingo was his name, oh. G-O, G-O. G-O and bingo was his name. Oh, I think he's done, right? I mean, three letters is an, all he's not done. All right, let's give him the next letter. What letter is that? The letter G. <laughs> There's only one letter left. Let's do this. There was a librarian who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and bingo was his name. Oh, I'm not even gonna ask him. We know he's still hungry. He's gonna eat that last letter. Oh, there he goes. Um, num, 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 num. All right. Oh, bingo says, thank you. Are you full now? Yes, he is. Do you think we can sing your song? There are no letters showing. Bingo thinks that you can do it. Are you guys ready? There was a librarian who had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. And bingo was his name, oh. Ah, oh, you guys made bingo so happy. Thank you so much. All right, Miss Susie, have you got, I think you've got some questions for us. Yes, I do have some questions and hopefully you can help me answer them, everyone. We want to know who hops. This book is by Katie Davis and it is published by Harcourt, Gra Harcourt Grace. And it's one of my favorites. I just think it's so funny and I love the pictures. Frogs hop, rabbits hop, kangaroos hop, Cows hop, wait a second, no, no they don't. Cows moo and give milk, but they don't hop. Should we find out who flies? Let's see. Birds fly, bats fly, flies fly, Rhinos fly, <laughs> no, no they don't. Rhinos eat grass and take lots of bath, but they don't fly. He says, great, now you tell me. <laughs> Do we find out who slithers? Salamander slither, snakes slither, Snails slither, elephants slither. <laughs> no, they don't. Me slither? Come on, you're cracking me up. Come on, I can't take it anymore. Elephants have hairy babies and wiggly trunks, but they don't slither. Should we find out who swims? Goldfish swim, sharks swim, whales swim, anteaters swim. Oh, no, they don't. Anteaters eat ants and have long sticky tongues, 
but they don't swim. Should we find out who crawls? Spiders crawl. Crabs crawl. Crocodiles crawl. Giraffes crawl. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, not a good idea. Giraffes eat leaves and have really tall babies, but they don't crawl. So who hops and flies and slithers and swims and crawls? What do you think? Who does all of those things? You do. Aww. All right, Miss Leslie, one of my favorite books. Yep, one of mine as well. So I read one from 2019. This one goes all the way back to 1982. Who Sank the Boat by Pamela Allen, and it's by Penguin. And let's see. All right, we've got a beautiful dock. See that boat? Let's see. Beside the sea on Mr. Pfeffer's place, there lived a cow, a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a tiny little mouse. They were good friends. And one warm sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? Hmm. Was it the cow who almost fell in when she tilted the boat and made such a din? Do you think that cow is going to sink the boat? Looks pretty dicey. Ah! Nope. It wasn't the cow who almost fell in. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the donkey? who balanced her weight, who yelled, I'll get in at the bow before it's too late. What do you think? Could it be the donkey? Nope, it wasn't the donkey who balanced her weight. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the pig who stepped in at the side and caused a great flutter? Oh, I'm sorry, I missed a line. Was it the pig as fat as butter who stepped in at the side and caused a great flutter? I think it might be the pig. I mean, look, it looks like that boat is about to tip. What do you think? Nope, it wasn't the pig as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the sheep? who knew where to sit to level the boat so that she could fit? What do you think? There doesn't look like there's a lot of room, but they say the sheep knows where to sit. You think it's gonna be okay? Let's see. Oh, she fit, no, it wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the little mouse? The last to get in, who was lightest of all? Could it be him? It couldn't be the mouse. Could it be the mouse? Look how teeny tiny that mouse is. Surely that won't sink the boat. Oh boy. Do you know who sank the boat? You do know, right? Who sank that boat? <sighs> And there they go. Well, I guess they're not gonna do any boating today. Oh, well, you know, that story oh, has made me a little tired. Miss Susie, what have you got? I have a book about yawning. This might make everyone feel like yawning. <laughs> everyone is yawning by Anita Bersterbosch. I think I'm saying that correctly. And it is published by Clavis. Let's see who's yawning. The kitten is tired. Can you see? Look, the kitten is yawning. Oh. Mm. That kitten is so tired. Who else is tired? The snake is yawning too. And what a funny tongue he has. Let's see, who else? 
Is the raccoon tired? Oh, yes. Look, the raccoon is yawning. Oh. Is this book making you yawn? The bunny is yawning very quietly. Oh. Look at those funny teeth. Two on the top and two on the bottom. The piggy is yawning noisily. It grunts a little bit. The piggy is very tired. Going, 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 going. The crocodile shows all its teeth when it yawns. And there are a lot of them. Oh. And the hippo. The hippo yawns too, three times. Ah, 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 <laughs> so tired. Off to bed now, Arctic Fox. Can you see the Arctic Fox is yawning? Ah. The turtle yawns very slowly. The little turtle, ah is ready for bed. And the little child, is the little child going to bed too? Oh yes, one more yawn. Oh, and off to sleep. Okay, Miss Leslie, wake up. We gotta <laughs> move on to story. <laughs> oh, I'm awake, because this is really and truly one of my all time favorites. We're gonna do icky sticky bubble gum. So I may call on you and if I do, you're gonna to need to unmute yourself so you can tell me where to stick this gum. But first, let's reach into our pockets and unwrap a delicious piece of chewing gum. And as I always tell everybody, this has no artificial flavors or colorings and it is sweetened with agave. Mine is mango. Mm, 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 mm. We're gonna blow a big bubble, are you ready? <sighs> <gasps> <gasps> Here we go. Icky sticky, icky sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky sticky, icky sticky bubble gum sticking to my hair. Oh my goodness, guys. I've got gum stuck in my hair. Oh, does anybody know how we can get it out? Anybody, Miss Susie, you have any ideas? Miss Rachel, Paul, what do you think? Paul. Is it, yeah, you think that'll work? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try in the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. That worked. Okay, so we know we have to pull it. So I'm gonna ask Zoe and Nadia. You guys ready? Icky sticky, icky sticky, yeah. bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum. Sticking to my, where should we stick it, Zoe? Where do you think? Taking them back <laughs> to your cheeks. Oh my god. Oh, how did you know that that's my favorite uh -huh. stick? It? Okay, I've got <laughs> gum stuck on my cheek. And how do we get it off? Oh, oh Paul. Yeah. Okay, ready on the count of three. <laughs> One, two, three. That worked, thank you. Icky sticky, icky. I think I'm going to you next, Nathan. Icky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky sticky, icky sticky, bubble gum. Sticking to my, Nathan, you're saying my mouth? <laughs> your chin, okay. Oh boy, I got gum stuck on my chin. Are you ready? How do we get it off, everybody? I'm gonna pull it, ready on the count of three. One. Two, three, pop! Oh, it worked. Okay, I'm going next. I think you sp uh, pronounce it Irene. Is that right? You're gonna be next. Icky sicky, icky sicky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky sicky, icky sicky, bubble gum. Stick into my, where should we stick it? What do you wanna say? Say nose? Yeah. Oh, your nose. Okay, but now I can't really breathe, and that's going to be a problem. So I have to remember how to get it off. What do I have to do, everybody? Oh, oh I got to pull it. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. One, two, three. Ah! 
We did it. Eki seki, eki seki, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Eki seki, eki seki, bubble gum. Stick into my Julian. Where should we stick our gum? You want a point? Where should we do it, Julian? What do you think? Not sure? Should we ask somebody else? What about, oh, Lila, you're raising your, stick into your hands? Yeah, okay, ready? Stick into, oh. Oh, my hands are stuck. Oh, they're stuck together. What do we need to do? We need to pull. Are you ready on the count of three? One, two, three, pop. Good job. All right, next I'm going to Chloe. Get ready. Icky, sicky, icky, sicky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sicky, icky, sicky, bubble gum. Sticking to my, where should we stick it, Chloe? Uh, we should stick it to... Uh, well, I choose cheeks. I mean, legs. To our legs? Okay. okay, it's stuck to my knees. Oh boy, now I'm. Oh, I hope my back doesn't go out. Are you ready on the count of three? One, two, yeah. three. Woo! We did it. Icky, sicky, icky, sicky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sicky, icky, sicky, bubble gum. Sticking to my ears. Oh my goodness, I can't hear anything. Oh, I forgot, how do I get this off? Miss mm. Susie, I can't hear you. I have gum in my ears. Can you say it a little louder? Oh. I can't hear you, everybody needs to be really loud. How do I do it? Oh. Oh, okay, pull one, two, three. Oh. Pop, that worked. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this gum. I'm gonna put it away for now, but later I'm gonna take it out and play some more. All right. So, boy, oh boy, did we have fun today. I think it's time for our favorite part, which is dancing. We're going to clap our hands, wiggle worms. We are going to spotlight the kids and post this on YouTube later this afternoon. So if you don't want your child included, you could turn off your video monitor. Otherwise, let's go, wiggle worms. One, two, three. Come on, wiggle worms. Let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody, clap your hands. Now we're gonna stomp our feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, everybody stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, everybody stomp your feet. Let's say hi to all our friends, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, everybody wave hello. Hi everybody. Well, I know you don't like it, but now it's time for us to brush our teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Touch your nose, touch your nose, everybody touch your nose. Touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your sweet little nose, everybody touch your nose. All right, it's time to clap those hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Are you guys
wonderful job. Ah, you know, we love sharing our favorites with you. And really our favorite favorite is spending time with you guys. So thank you for coming. It was really a lot of fun. Again, we've got our Earth Day celebration on Sunday. On Tuesday, we are doing a special story time in memory of Miss Lucy that we're really excited about. And on Thursday, we start our Zoom baby rhyme time. So if you know of anybody, there are a couple of spots left. You can go ahead and register for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Are you guys ready? I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Here we Open, shut them, open, shut them. Raise your hands up high. Open, shut them, open, shut them. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye, everybody.